Marikina City in the Philippines where you can join Extreme Gap and learn how to train with a modern harness. Harness is also known as Extrema, FMA, stick and knife fighting, call it what you will, it's the national sport of the Philippines. For this you can learn a lot of different forms and styles. It's to do with empty hand, which is without weapons and also with weapons training. Sticks, knives, swords, daggers. Play nicely with your sister. The problem with all these weapons is it's kind of hard to know which one to choose. Yeah. I'll just stick with the big one. Until recently, Arnis has been a very secretive martial art, and that's mainly because the masters of the sport kept it very quiet because they actually kind of felt like they were still at war and it was a, a sport that should be kept only spoken to and told to with uh, their protégés and people from the Philippines. Recently, however, it's opened up as a sport. You can now actually come and train with some of the top grandmasters in modern artists. On the Extreme Gap course, you'll learn with individual training of some of the top masters in the Philippines. You'll also get involved with groups that practice as well three times a week. You can see some of the senior groups training behind me. Through your interaction with the, the masters and the players, which are the people who are involved in Arnis, uh, you'll actually help the sport grow and develop, which is the goal grandmasters have in the Philippines and they need your help to come out and learn in order to help spread the word of the sport and learn about it. So we're by a very famous statue in Manila, downtown Manila, we're joined here by Grandmaster Bambit Dume, who's one of the instructors for FMA training in the Philippines. It's a very famous statue, it's Lapu Lapu. Lapu Lapu. Regarded, he was actually the guy who killed Magellan, the famous navigator. He's very highly regarded in the Philippines and seen as one of the founding fathers of FMA. Yeah. Just in Rizal Park behind me, you have lots of us national heroes who fought the Spanish for about 50 years, all the way through to the turn of the 19th century. This is kind of like the, the founding of why FMA came about because it was to fight the Spanish. It was a very quick method of teaching people how to defend themselves and also attack. It was both unarmed combat and using weapons, so sticks, knives, whatever they had available. Bearing in mind they were fighting the Spanish who had guns and a lot more sophisticated weaponry. Eventually they were successful in defeating the Spanish. A lot of the people here today here today, they're very dead. Represented here today are some of the national heroes, which is why FMA is so deep rooted in the culture of the Philippines. Basically, the Spanish dug a big hole, threw two people down there, and they were fighting to death. Down here. So that's what you will be doing when you come to do the FMA here. So you better win. The reasons you should learn on this will firstly self-defense, it's a very impressive martial art form. Secondly, it's all about protection as well. The reason why the Filipinos actually learn it is because they did once have quite a troubled, turbulent history. They were fighting the Spanish for many years up until the turn of the 19th century. And also they've had 
have been involved with in several revolutions as well in the 70s. So it was a very important thing close to home that they had to learn how to protect their family. Uh, it's a very traditional sport and it is a sport, but it's also a safe sport as well. It sounds quite severe, you're playing with sticks and knives, let's not, not forget that fact. But you'll be doing non-contact, you'll be learning with padded equipment, with safety equipment as well. The knives are blunted so they're not going to stab you. Of course, if it was applied to a real world situation, it would be very different, it would be extremely dangerous. The different styles that you'll learn here, you'll learn modern harness which is a variation on the traditional forms. There are well over a hundred different styles. You'll learn about six or seven in your time here, depending on how long you come and train. You'll learn about weapons, you'll learn about how to defend yourselves without weapons as well. So you're based in Marikina as well, which is a suburb of Manila. It's probably about 45 minutes into central Manila. There's lots going on, lots of bars, restaurants, shops and what have you. You'll be taken to different locations at weekends, to the beaches, the mountain settings. Um, there's lots of nice things to do here as well. So come out to the Philippines, join us. We have set start dates where you can come and train us in modern harness. You'll have a really good time doing it and you'll certainly learn a thing or two about the Philippines.